Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is minimum cost to cut a board into squares, right? So first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we'll be coding it up. So before proceeding further to the video, make sure to subscribe my channel. If you haven't subscribed my channel now, it will really motivate me to create more such content for you. And I believe the channel is going to be helpful for you. We are continuously putting job opportunities and placement related information uh, for you guys. So I hope that it will help you a lot. So do subscribe and make sure to turn on the bell icon as well so that you are not missing the notification. You are being notified uh, whenever we are uploading any video and make sure to join our telegram community. The link for the telegram channel is in the description itself. So let's get started with the problem statement. So the problem says a board of length M and width L is given. Okay. And our task is to break this board that we are having of M cross N into, we have to break this board into M cross N squares such that the cost of breaking, right, it should be minimum. The cutting cost for each S will be given for the board in two areas, X and Y. Right, so we are having the cutting cost as well for each S, which uh, they have given in two areas, X as well as Y. So in short, we have to choose such a sequence, such a way of cutting such that cost is minimized. You have to return the minimized cost. Let's understand the same with the help of an example. So M is 6 and N is 4. Right, so in X array, this is uh, the values that we are having and in Y array, this is the values we are having. And the output, the minimum cost that we are getting for cutting this M cross N board into M cross N squares is 42. So you can see 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. So this is, we are cutting this in vertical fashion, right? And 4, 1, 2. So this is, we are cutting this in horizontal fashion. So for our board to cut into a square is total minimum cost in above case is 42. And it is evaluated using the following steps. Okay, so total cost first, they have taken that would be zero. Now, how they are calculating? So, total cost equal to total cost plus the cost of edge multiplied with the total pieces that we are having. Okay. So, for example, what they did for a horizontal cut, for a horizontal cut, they took four. Okay. They took four and as of now, this complete, uh, complete board we are having, right? So, this is complete one piece we are having. So, how many pieces we have? One, right? So, zero plus four into one, we got four right now how many pieces are there okay now how many pieces we do have two pieces right we have made a cut we have made a cut so we are having two pieces now so four plus four into two we are having well now this is the cost that is there four plus and now at this time we are making a vertical cut so for vertical cut also we are having the edge cost as four right for one of that this is the as cost we are having so four plus four into two we are having twelve right and this is how they have calculated with having a sequential horizontal and vertical cuts and at the end following the sequence they have got the minimum cost that could be there for cutting this particular board in m cross n squares the minimum cost they have got is 42 and for this example if you'll see right so for this one we have got the cost as 15 so we'll be understanding we can stand further in the video. So, what our task is that we have to complete the function minimum cost of breaking, which takes a string s and returns an integer as output. Well, this question is is like uh, I would say in term once you got the approach right. So, in terms of implementation, there's nothing much about this question. But the thing is to understand this question that what basically we can use here. So, if you observe the question carefully, then here we can use the greedy approach. So let's understand how greedy approach we can implement for this particular question. So let's say we are having a board having dimension m cross n where m is 6 and n is 4. This is the first example itself that we have to write and the values for x and y array are 2, 1, 3, 1, 4 and 4, 1, 2. Okay and for this one the output that we are getting is 42. So um, okay what we can do is first of all this thing to understand is how they are calculating the cost okay because our main target is just to minimize the cost right after breaking this into m cross and pieces we have to minimize this cost so how we can do so how they are calculating the cost they are taking edge cost into number of pieces right number of pieces 
So let's say for an edge, the cost is eight and number of pieces is one. One piece is there and number of pieces is three for other case. So eight and 23. You can see we cannot do anything about edge bone because that is constant. But what we can do is we can think about this number of pieces because they will be changing first. It could be one, two, three, depends, right? So if you will think greedily, so what we can do the cost, the, that particular edge for which the cost is higher, right? Take it first, right? When the number of pieces are less. For example, if here you will see. So here we have four. The This is the edge cost which is high right from x and y if you will check from y also we have this four from for this uh, vertical partition we have this four and for this uh, horizontal partition we have this four okay so if you will take this four first so four into one because as of now you are having a board there's a complete piece okay so four into one you will be having four but later on let's say when we have done some partitions and then you are choosing this four and the um, the and number of pieces then the value will increase right the cost will increase right so that's what we have to do first choose the first choose the cost of those edges which are high right so that's one thing to observe here in this question now when we are making a cut so we are making a sequential horizontal or vertical cuts right so if this is the um, board we are having you made a vertical cut so the board got partitions like this right so the board got partitioned like this so now when you will be making a cut, a horizontal one, so for horizontal one, you have to club these, these partitions together. You have to club these partitions together, right? Club these partitions together because it's like now there are two pieces because we already did one vertical cut, right? So what, and if, well, let's say this is a board we were having and we are making a horizontal cut here, it got partition like this. So when we do a vertical cut here like that, vertical cut like that, then we have to bring these two partitions together, right? So th the thing that you can observe here is that if we are making a horizontal cut, if we are making a horizontal cut, basically we'll be maintaining two variables here, horizontal cut and vertical cut. So when you are making a horizontal cut, we'll update the value of, we'll implement the value of vertical cut by one. Because see here it became two partitions now. And when we are making a vertical cut, we'll update the value of horizontal cut by one. Okay, so this is the thing. So we'll be maintaining, first of all, first thing that we observe, choose the edge which cost is high, right? And so that we can number of pieces short term So when our number of pieces come here, we value multiply cost ko minimize kar sakte right so first observation hamara ye ho gaya next observation ho gaya hamara ki hum do variable maintain karke chalenge vertical cut and horizontal cut right theek hai ab agar till here everything is clear agar yahan tak sab clear hai so bas yahi karna hai question mein right ab there is nothing much to do that's all we have to do so ab ek bar approach ko achhe se samajh lete hain so first we took four so four, जैसे कि यहाँ पे देखो पहले आप देख लो कि सबसे ज़्यादा value कहाँ पे है, ठीक है? तो यहाँ से भी four, four दोनों में बराबरी है, तो कहीं से भी ले लो, यहाँ से हमने four लिया, पहले हमने ले लिया एक vertical cut, ठीक है? अभी हमारा जो vertical cut और horizontal cut है, दोनों की value होगी one. Cost को हम कैसे calculate कर रहे होंगे? एक variable हमने ले रखा होगा zero, and जैसे कि अभी x of i में जा रहे हैं, vertical cut हमने लगाया हुआ है so, c plus equal to edge की cost है जो हमारा वो है यहाँ पे 4 4 into and next क्या हो गया हमारा vertical cut की value so वो हमारी 1 अब vertical cut लगा दिया है तो किसकी value update करेंगे horizontal cut एक से बढ़ जाएगी it would be 2 now ठीक है तो cost हो गया हमारा 4 ठीक है cost हमारा 4 हो गया यहाँ पे लिखते हैं cost हमारा 4 हो गया ठीक है next time अब यहाँ पे देखो अगर इधर से लोगे तो बड़ी वैल्यू सबसे कौन सी है 3 और यहां पे 4 तो हम ये ले लेंगे हम क्या ले लेंगे हॉरिजॉन्टल कट करेंगे तो c 4 प्लस जो ऑलरेडी हमारा कॉस्ट है 4 प्लस एज कॉस्ट क्या है 4 into, 4 into, and vertical cut की वैल्यू क्या है सॉरी हॉरिजॉन्टल कट की वैल्यू क्या है क्योंकि अब हम हॉरिजॉन्टल कट ले रहे हैं ना तो 
ये हो गई हमारी टू सो फोर प्लस फोर इंटू टू विल बी हैविंग ट्वेल्व तो अब हमारी कॉस्ट होगी ट्वेल्व ठीक है अगर अभी हमने क्या किया अभी हमने हॉरिजॉन्टल कट किया ठीक है अभी हमने हॉरिजॉन्टल कट किया तो किसकी वैल्यू अपडेट होगी वर्टिकल कट की एंड दैट वुड बी टू नाउ एक से इंक्रीमेंट हो गया ठीक है अब यहाँ पे हमारे पास जो ज्यादा कॉस्ट की वैल्यू आ रही है वो है टू यहाँ पे थ्री तो हम ये लेंगे ठीक है वर्टिकल कट करेंगे थ्री का तो सी इक्वल टू सी इक्वल टू जो हमारी ऑलरेडी कॉस्ट है ट्वेल्व प्लस एच कॉस्ट है हमारी थ्री एंड अभी हम क्या करें वर्टिकल कट सो वर्टिकल कट की वैल्यू हमारी कितनी है टू राइट तो हमारे पास क्या वैल्यू आ जाएगी अब एटीन और अगर जैसे कि अभी यहाँ पे आपने वर्टिकल कट किया है तो हॉरिजॉन्टल कट की वैल्यू हो जाएगी अपडेट होके थ्री ठीक है अब हमने यहाँ पे थ्री ले लिया अब हमारे पास क्या बचा टू एंड टू तो दोनों वैल्यू सेम है राइट तो आप हॉरिजॉन्टल कट भी कर सकते हो वर्टिकल कट भी कर सकते हो ठीक है वर्टिकल कट ही कर लेते हैं या हॉरिजॉन्टल कट कर लो आई मीन बिकॉज वैल्यू जो है हमारे पास वो दोनों बराबर तो चलो हमने कर लिया हॉरिजॉन्टल कट कर लिया ठीक है तो एटीन प्लस एटीन प्लस टू एटीन प्लस टू इंटू एटीन प्लस टू इंटू हमारी वैल्यू कितनी है थ्री ठीक है तो यहाँ पे हमारे पास क्या आ जाएगा हमारे यहाँ पे हमारे पास यहाँ पे आ जाएगी वैल्यू ट्वेंटी फोर हमने हॉरिजॉन्टल कट किया है तो वर्टिकल कट की वैल्यू हम अपडेट करके यहाँ पे क्या कर देंगे थ्री कर देंगे अब इसके बाद हम क्या करेंगे तो यहाँ पे हमारे पास इधर से वैल्यू हाई जो है वो है टू और यहाँ पे यहाँ से वन ठीक है तो हम क्या करेंगे वर्टिकल कट करेंगे सी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस वर्टिकल कट की वैल्यू हमारी जो काउंट है वर्टिकल कट का काउंट जो है वो है थ्री एंड कॉस्ट है टू टू इन टू थ्री वी गॉट वॉट थर्टी राइट एंड अभी आपने वर्टिकल कट किया है तो हॉरिजोनटल कट की वैल्यू अपडेट होके हो जाएगी फोर राइट तो हमने यहाँ पे टू भी ले लिया ठीक है अभी यहाँ पे आप Uh, क्योंकि वन है दोनों जगह सेम ही है तो आप हॉरिजॉन्टल uh, कट भी कर सकते हो वर्टिकल कट भी कर सकते हो ठीक है लेट्स से हमने uh, तो एज ए वैल्यू सिमिलर है ना तो आप कोई सा भी चूज कर सकते हो लेट्स से कि हमने हॉरिजॉन्टल कट चूज कर लिया तो सी इक्वल टू थर्टी प्लस वन इंटू फोर तो हमारे पास क्या आ जाएगा थर्टी फोर एंड हमने हॉरिजोंटल कट किया तो वर्टिकल की वैल्यू हो जाएगी हमारी ठीक है अभी अभी हमारे पास देखो हॉरिजोंटल कट सारे हो गए हैं ठीक है तो हमारे पास जो पेंडिंग है दैट इज वर्टिकल कट्स हो हम क्या करेंगे थर्टी फोर प्लस कॉस्ट है वन इन टू फोर तो हो गया हमारे पास थर्टी एट राइट एंड ठीक है तो ये भी हो गया हमारे पास एक और कट अभी हमारे पास बचा है तो सी इक्वल टू थर्टी एट प्लस वन इन टू फोर तो हमारे पास क्या आ गया फोर्टी टू राइट सो दिस इज हाउ वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड दिस इज हाउ वी हैव गॉट आर मिनिमम वैल्यू राइट फॉर cutting a board into ampros and its threads right so i hope that you must be able to understand the approach that we'll be using once you understood the approach right then the, uh, the implementation is not that hard right so i believe that you will be able to implement it by yourself but still let's have a look on the code part so here is the code for the approach that we just discussed right so first of all what we are doing is we are sorting these arrays right x as well as y right because we have to choose the uh, highest edge cost right That's why we are making sure to sort both these arrays. Now uh, we have this i initialized with x dot and minus one, j with y dot and minus one. Vertical cuts and horizontal cuts been initialized with one, and this is the variable uh, that is containing the minimum cost, and we'll be returning this at the end. So uh, till the time i greater than equal to zero and j greater than equal to zero, um, so we'll be continuing in this loop. And now if x or y is greater than that of uh, y of j, so What we doing is so we are updating the value of result as result plus equal to x of i. This is the edge cost into vertical cut because x is responsible for the vertical cuts. And if uh, see if we are doing a vertical cut, then we are implementing the value of whom? We are implementing the value of horizontal cut, and we are doing i minus minus. Otherwise, if that's not the case, so we will be executing else cut. So there we are taking horizontal cut, updating the value of vertical cut, and j minus minus. So now, as if we discuss the case, right? So there was there can be possibility that either we are left with some values in the or uh, in the x array or y array, right? So to keep track of that also, we are having these two values. That if still uh, i is greater than equal to zero, so update the value of result like that. And if still uh, j is greater than equal to zero, so we'll be taking all the remaining elements from the from the horizontal cut part, right? So from the y of j array. 
right so y of j is responsible for the horizontal cut right so y of j into horizontal cuts and simply decrement the value of j and x here is responsible for the vertical cuts so x of i into vertical cuts i minus x right so that's what it is right you can see the implementation is pretty easy only once you understood the logic Right, so that's all for my side. I hope that you must be able to understand the problem statement. If not, so then um, watch the video again and try to do a dry run of the same take a case. Uh, maybe the same example you can take and let's uh, just try to understand. Definitely you'll be able to understand the approach. So thank you so much for watching. I have provided a code in the description for the reference. So you can just have a look from there as well. Bye-bye.